Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's Son channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. This is an urgent word for somebody. They will not support you. Do you know why? Because you are not for them. You see them supporting others, people who were supposed to support you. You see them clapping for others. You see them telling others, oh, go, you can do it. You are doing well. They will even put their resources into what others are doing so that it will come to light. But when you, when it is your turn, they have reasons. They have reasons not to support you. Child of God, hear me very well. You are not for them. If you were among them, you would have gotten their own support if you were among them. The Bible says in the book of Amos, can two walk together unless they agree? Can they walk together? Can light and darkness walk together? Hmm. Child of God, they will not support you because you are not meant to be supported by everybody. The ones where you are even looking at that they will support you, you will see that they are the one that will not support you. This is to tell you that they have already realized it, that you are not for everybody. You are not, I repeat that word, you are not for everyone. You are not for everyone. So you must prepare Instead of them to support you, they will discourage you. <laughs> Child of God, prepare. The Bible says if you were one of them, they would have accept you. If they hate you, know that they hate him first. If they hate you, if they reject you, know that they rejected him first. You might be looking at them like, ah, they are human beings, oh, they are Christians, but you don't know who they carry. The day God will open your eyes to see some certain things, I'm telling you, you will tell God to close your eyes. You know, some persons will be like, I want to see God open my eyes, God open my eye. If God open your eye, you will see that even the tree that you are seeing in your street, some of them are human beings. You will beg God to close your eyes. God will not open your eyes to see what you cannot handle. God will not open your eyes to see things that you cannot take. So that is why no matter how some persons pray that God should open their eyes. I want to see me. I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see this. God will not open it because he knows who you are. He's the one that created you. So you might be asking yourself, why are they not supporting me? This is to tell you that you are not for them. You can't be for everybody. You can't be for everybody. That is why you will not have their support. That is why you will not have their encouragement. That is why they will not tell you you can do it. That is why they will not clap for you. Even when they see that you are, you are able to do it on your own without any support, that is why they will tell you that, oh, you are not doing it right. <laughs> Child of God, you are not for everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ came to die for us. There are people who never accepted him. So during his time, he was not for everybody. He wanted to be for everybody, but he was not. Everybody never accepted him. Even me and you that are here right now, you still know that people still don't accept him. People still said he's a liar. People still call him a blasphemer. They still call him different kinds of names. <laughs> so now you want to be for everybody? <laughs> you can't be for everybody, child of God. But the truth is that 
one with God is majority. It is well with you, Jesus, love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.